Hi guys, so in this video we're going to talk about um, hockey stick bends and bows because we realise it can be very challenging choosing the right hockey stick. So to start off is the standard bow, which is what most junior and kid sticks are. As you can see, it's not, it's not an aggressive shape, so it's perfect for developing your skills. Once you sort of move out of that shape, you move on to what probably is the most common hockey bend on the market, which is the low bow. So again, you can see that the bend is a bit closer to the head of the stick. Now, what that means is you'll be able to get the ball in the air much easier, but it's not going to compromise when you hit the ball or slap the ball. If hitting or slapping is something that you do quite a lot, then there's the mid bow. So again, you can see the bend of the stick is right up here in the middle. So that, what that means is when you go to hit the ball, it's going to stay nice and flat along the ground. So if hitting's a part of your game and it's something that you can't compromise on, going for a mid bow stick is what to, what to do. If, a bit like what most people are, are unsure if they go for that low bow or mid bow, but you hit the ball quite a lot, there's something called a pro bow. So this Osaka stick is the perfect example. So you can see it's not quite right down at the bottom, but it's sort of in between. So what that means is when you're hitting the ball, it's gonna stay perfectly flat. But occasionally when you need to do those 3D skills to get out of danger, it'll come into very, very, very handy. Now, now you come into sort of the specialist sticks. So we've got here this Adidas Chaos Fury, and right down at the very bottom, as you can see, it's right down at the legal limit that it can be, is an extreme low bow stick. Now, these are for throwing aerials, drag flicking, and someone that does a lot of 3D skills. This is the perfect fit for them. Because of the bend, you're gonna get the ball very easily in the air. Hitting the ball, you might have to adjust slightly instead of hitting the ball in the middle of your body. You might have to hit the ball slightly on the back foot to keep it flat. And then you've got the really specialist stick. So this, this Mercian stick here, I'm hoping you can see it in the video, is there's a bit of a concave down, the, down here on the shaft, which means that this is for drag flickers. So if the ball gets in that groove and you get much more whip and power on the flick. Equally, some, some of these are going to be in that extreme low bow shape. So again, very easy to get the ball in the air. And so sort of what we always say here is that the lower the bend, the easier it is to get the ball in the air. So for example, the extreme low bow bend, very easy to get the ball in the air. The standard shape, it's going to be a wee bit more difficult. Okay, so guys, that's the end of this video. I hope it does help. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Hi guys, I hope we answered your question there in that video. And if you have any other questions, please let us know. Send them in on Instagram and Facebook. Write them in the comments below. We're really trying to make more of these videos to help you guys out. If you want to subscribe to us, click up here. If you want to see any of the other videos, click down below. As again, guys, thank you very much.